of the holiday tomorrow, hundreds gathered in Burlington today for a free Thanksgiving lunch. Our Sophia Thomas stopped by to learn why the meal is harder to serve this year, though. She's live in the studio now for us. Sophia, why is it? Kat, Burlington's food shelf and meal site Feeding Chittenden hosted the holiday lunch for Vermonters in need with the help of local culinary students. Turkey, gravy, stuffing, mashed potatoes, all the good stuff. Living on the streets for much of his life, Orlando Pacheco knows the power of a good meal. And now he's learning to make them at Community Kitchen Academy, a culinary training program for unemployed and underemployed Vermonters. On Wednesday, Pacheco and his classmates served a Thanksgiving spread to people in need. This is something big for me. People no got no meal today, he got some meal now. The meal at Feeding Chittenden is helping to fill the gap following the end of the free Thanksgiving dinner provided by Sweetwater's restaurant when it closed last year. Staff and culinary students here worked quickly to feed the line of people forming outside. The team served 140 people by 1230 and expected to hit around 200 by one. Casey Sears of Middlebury took a bus to Burlington for the lunch. Currently experiencing homelessness, he says his meal couldn't come fast enough. Did I need to eat? I've been starving, starving to death for the past two weeks. Feeding Chittenden set a goal of feeding 10,000 families in 2023, but lacks donations to meet the goal. They fed 3,000 so far, 2,000 short of where they hope to be this time of year. Program Associate Director Anna McMahon blames food prices, expected to increase by 5.8% this year, according to the U.S. Department of Agriculture. People just are struggling to, to, you know, again, provide food for their own families, let alone purchasing extra food or making an extra monetary donation. While donations are down, McMahon says demand is up. 450 people filtered through the program's food pantry Monday compared to their 200 daily average. To go Thanksgiving meals are also available for pickup at Feeding Chittenden. There are also a number of free meals being offered across our region tomorrow. We have a list with this story on WCAX.com. Live in the studio, Sophia Thomas, Channel 3 News. Sophia, thank you. And while